also accidents can be prevented in the organization so it is very strict when we go for audit we will definitely say in the car we will definitely say what is the speed which is it going if he goes in the with the speed of 20 km beyond that we will definitely put a observation on that fellow say don't go with this if you go like this you will see you will the, this uh, observation will be taken to your top management don't do this like this if you take this lift in the most of the lifts recently one of the hotel i have gone is a contain consisting about six floors in the see any lift there should be some precautionary measures should be given in the lift some telephone call some buzzer or some phone number should be there in the, in case of any emergency you please call these people these should be present in the lift but most of the private institutions including uh, most of the hotels and also restaurants they don't put anything we don't find anything if the lift stops in mid in between the two uh, floors it is very difficult to contact those people your mobile phone will will not work because the signal will not come in the lift and recently had uh, that problem also literally they have uh, taken me see the lift has stopped in between the two floors i am i am little bit older and not little bit older i am a old person they literally uh, dragged me from the lift i told this lady fellow you don't uh, do this no sir that buzzer is working yesterday till yesterday that buzzer is working today only it is not working so these safety provisions is to be taken in the lift also sir so organization must encourage the workers at all levels organization means the top management should encourage all the workers to report any hazardous situations if they find it find out what are the hazardous situation this hazard hazardous situations have been given in the central electricity safety regulations or is specification 5216 or is 14489 the safety methods safety audit methods and is 5216 part 2 also and is 3j 15361535215352 uh, 15352 or is 3034 there are so many specification in which who are what are the hazards that can be taken place in the industry in such hazardous location or hazard is this thing situation the organization engages the workers sir this is the thing one of the examples i'll tell you say so there is a what motor pump set motor and a pump set is there as per the factory act factory rules they should cover the the flange in between which is coupled by this uh, motor and the pump that should be covered completely because inadvertently any worker falls on this thing the uh, rotating uh, pump if any falls on there will lot of injuries will take place that should be there if such things is uh, not there it should be immediately it should brought to the notice of the management sir these are all the things it should be covered properly covered <coughs> otherwise recently one of the one more example is there recently one of the safety audits when i gone there uh it is actually the manufacturing the supplier is by the indian navy lnt is the they are they are involved in the manufacturing submarines when i was doing this uh, safety audit i just i was sitting one of the man, manager like this i was just discussing something meanwhile one person has gone he is coming with a blood from the head helmet is also there on the on his head but lot of injuries when lot of lot of blood is coming i asked that fellow is he is having a helmet why he got injury on the head the what is injury is that that the overhead crane is there the or that link is there no that he lifting link lift link that lifting link has hit this fellow while traveling the driver has not seen that this fellow has not seen that that is hit him Though he is having a helmet, they got an injury. Then what is the use of helmet? Immediately the worker, 
who has got injury is suffering with a lot of pain is immediately say he is a contractor if that fellow is a uh, conjuice fellow sir he is not properly purchasing the proper helmet he has not purchased proper helmet means a helmet which is suitable to the work there there are seven to eight types of helmets are there suitable to the workplace you should purchase the helmet suitable to the workplace not every helmet will not come in that is a, if you go on the scooter if you go on a normal helmet the police people also know you should have an isa mark on that the specific requirement is there in the helmet also the immunity that the conjus fellow my contractor has not given a proper uh, this thing ultimately who is the sufferer the injured person the victim so these are all the things so in such situation he should be informed the contractor or these people so this is the what is happening you should give us the proper helmet to cover head so that the things that of injuries may take place and then <clears throat> workers must be able to report and suggest areas improvement workers also should have a skill to suggest any improvement in case of the uh, safety measures without fearing so if he complain normally top manager what will do you yeah, this fellow you go he is dismissed you are from tomorrow you don't come that attitude should not be there in the top management it should uh, i mean uh, take the advice from him also with the post sportively take this advice whether you can implement or don't implement is a different matter so without fearing dismissal or disciplinary action or any similar reprisal from the management so what is the risk the risk is uh, occupation risk what is meant by risk what is an accident accident is unexpected event risk is also same thing health and risk a combination of the likelihood of occurrences of a work related hazardous events or exposure but severity of injury health and can be caused by this is the definition it is given in the for the risk risk is mean maybe risk of the injury or risk of the accident so if you go on a scooter without a helmet there are some types of risk will be there it may uh, if you i mean uh, commit an accident there it may be a fatal accident i may may be some bodily injury or you may i mean uh, your leg may be this thing or something may happen sometimes fatal sometimes not non fatal <clears throat> so what in the accident uh, cost to the company the direct cost no let us suppose an accident is taking place in any industry for one of the victim what is, is the direct cost indirect cost there are some direct cost as there what is the direct cost the company has to give pay some compensation <clears throat> and uh, medical expenses legal services you have to fight the legal entity i'll tell you one of the thing Uh, one more example on this when i gone there one of the industry see one welder and the supervisor both are working in one of the industry with a, a gas cylinder a gas cylinder of course our uh, uh, fire extinguisher also just behind that they have got a work permit they have got a permission to work their uh, this thing up to 5 o'clock in the evening right sir understood no work permit i got up to work up to only 5 o'clock the worker what he said to the supervisor sir you go and return the work permit about 10 to 5 or so you go and return the work permit because it takes another 10 minutes meanwhile i'll close a small work here and close up everything and we will go by 5 o'clock after 5 they cannot work in the industry because their work permit is given up to 5 o'clock unless they extend it so meanwhile this fellow is still doing the work the supervisor has gone to the uh, concerned manager he has written the work the supervisor that uh, manager what he said he asked him whether you completed the work yes sir we have completed you have, i mean taken out all the equipment yes sir we have taken everything okay then permit has closed closed by 5 o'clock see unfortunate thing happened that is called an accident 
by the time that uh, supervisor comes from that manager to the work spot there is a huge explosion because of the gas cylinder just behind him that welder has died welder has died because of the welding so all these things happen within 5 minutes of course further uh, something has happened but management has come this and that finally what these people they said the workers uh, relatives they come we want compensation for 10 lakhs compensation or 15 lakh compensation whatever it comes from their mouth they are asking for the compensation from the management then management has refused to give compensation we said we don't give then they have got to labor court labor court asked him you bring that work permit system so what time is this accident take place is about 5 of 5 minutes after 5 o'clock you are closed by work permit by 5 o'clock the 5 minutes why did you work they depend on the information or the data basing on the work permit system they said actually you are not entitled to any compensation because you have to close the work by 5 o'clock you have to clear the site also but you have worked up to 5 5 5 minutes after 5 o'clock got the injury only on the humanitarian grounds the organization gave him about say 5 lakhs or so but the thing is that the when the, the what is the direct if they let us suppose the, what is the direct cost to the company there direct cost is legal come legal they have to fight with the labor organization labor uh, court and then medical expenses of course he has died but if anybody is there they are just uh, we are around this legal i mean medical expenses and other expenses these are all the direct cost and some of the indirect cost is also there indirect cost the production time so when the accident take place all the people surrounding these people will come say what 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 happened what happened what happened the morale of the other people will be reduced this is most important and because of the people are gathering here their production loss will be there and the productive time lost by the injured people injured employees if injured employees injured is that there also production loss will be there and cleaning up starting up operation etc etc because of the interruption that is also cost and costing uh, cost continuing all for the employees wages plus compensations reduced morale among other employees ne- really the people know god no he already got injured so we don't go that side morale will be reduced the face of the organization all be reduced in front of the other competitive organization so if you go to that organization always is some uh, accident take take place so morale or the face of the industry also will be reduced with the competitive organization evaraithe competition sonnaro vaalla degara kuda morale tagipo and then additional supervision time and last of productivity etc etc these are all the indirect cost if an accident take place in the workplace district <clears throat> please so for that this management system what it is said earlier it is a, a preventive measure preventive measure preventive means when the prevention will come when some accident comes after comes accident comes they will think of the prevention how to prevent this but now this management they said the risk based thinking you should identify the risk before you take up the work before you take up the work whether maintenance work or construction work whatever that is called a risk based thinking for prevention of the risk before a potential hazard take place there is a potential hazard is there let us suppose in the oil industries there will be zone 0 zone 2 zone 1 zone 1 zone 2 like this different zones are there in the zone 0 area is the most hazardous area zone 1 is the less hazard zone 2 is the still less hazard so you can easily the management can identify which is the most hazardous areas so what is going to maybe 
may be what is the potential hazard if you work in the zone zero area i'll tell you one of the this thing also when we go for an audit in an oil industry they are handling the oil industries see they stopped us they did not allow us to mobile phones also in the, the premises is okay is your premises we have so given all our mobile phones but the people in the zone zero area most hazardous areas the people are working with a welding set see immediately when i gone there i said what is i said uh, sir what is that you are doing so we are doing some welding work here then immediately i said is it zone zero area yes sir zone zero because there is a gas tank is there just by uh, about 10 to 15 feet gas tank is there right compressed gas tank when is zone zero area gas tank is there where is your uh, fire fighting equipment what are all the things you would have to take a preventive measure you have to take what are the things you would take do you know or don't you know uh, no sir just now we have started just now means even one minute is sufficient to have an accident immediately you ask them to stop the work show your work uh, safety work procedures yes sir please safety procedures he doesn't have the safety procedures he doesn't know anything okay so if anything happens what is the product what is the industry what are the people are working including visitors like us the blast taking place we will also go so these are all the things sir that is the thing you must identify the risk before you take up any maintenance work especially the in hazardous locations hazardous locations if it is non hazard that's all that it is there but little bit you can relax so organizers must plan action to address these risk and opportunities sometimes opportunities also can be taken from the risk so this this time a small risk has happened you should see the opportunities and the risk not to repeat it sometimes our uh, chief minister one of the chief minister said you have to grab your uh, uh, grab your uh, opportunities from the errors you made it we learned lot of lessons after hudhud in vizag probably our uh, local people will definitely understand in the 2014 october 10 we were the people who faced lot of problems in the hudhud time so we learned lessons in earlier solar panels they go only for a uh, wind velocity about 100 and 100 meters after that they everybody got for 240 meters per hour wind velocity now the structure all structures have been Take, uh, that is the lesson from the errors so that is the opportunity risk and opportunity sir risk based it is called a risk based thinking you have to finalize the risk please change so what is the risk all organizations have to maintain a risk register for any work you take up there should be a risk register to be maintained what is the risk probabilities and impact so let us so let us suppose this water bottle drops on the ground what is the risk what see probability is very less i don't keep like this normally i keep like this let us suppose by mistake or something this has fallen down probability is very less but what is the impact in this let us suppose water falls on that this because it's very smooth uh, tiles i may fall down see i am moving like this i may fall down that is maybe the impact of the water falls down this is a small example so probability and impact if you ride on a scooter without helmet the probability to get an accident 50 50 every time it may not happen but it now it does not show that it will not happen also probability is 50 50 the impact also it may be a fatal accident or it may be a serious injury or a small injury so that is why you have to see that the low and medium and uh, high risk you have to calculate in any of the work before industry take up any of the work whether it is a construction work or a maintenance work or anything you should see what is the low risk what is the medium risk what is the high risk involved in the carrying out this job 
so rare unlikely moderate likely very likely you have to find out the risk you have to calculate the risk involved is before you take up the this thing that is also called a job analysis in the management system they say it is job analysis you should conduct a job analysis before you take up any work and you have to take the preventive action before you take up the work now let us suppose in normally in our electrical industry the people will go and find out they are, they will change the clamp on the conductor is a very height so let us uh, let us suppose they do not have proper ladder they may fall down they may fall down and they get a injury head injury the people may fall down see these are with the risk but normally it will not happen it may happen it will not happen the risk is likely or unlikely or most likely this so you have to take up a job safety analysis or a risk register this is called this is why the risk register to maintain is to reduce the workplace incidents or workplace accidents then what is an incident and what is an accident incident is my small injury near miss near miss that's a normally in industry they calculate the near miss also near miss is a small this so that also a small example i tell you if you do not get bored of this any bore ga undanna evarkena this is a small example i tell you this also happened to me also see when i gone for one of the auditing we came for the lunch for the this so after lunch we are getting back to the that industry there is about 2 to 3 kilometers in the distance is there before i get him into the vehicle i told that uh, driver you please look i am an old man i cannot go into get into the jeep as fast as you can unde kadandi man ile ekkadu kutu ga avachu ante what that fellow is that my mistake is also there i hold that uh, near the door like this i got a ring also in my finger so the driver thought i already got into the jeep he immediately closed the door my still one leg is there on the floor itself my hand got stuck up in the between the uh, the handle i mean the door and the car and i cannot pull the uh, my hand also because this is hurting me already my hand is already pressed a lot of pain is coming so immediately some people like you they said you know you unlock it lock it lock it and unlock it and the door is not coming because it's semi locked so somebody said you lock it unlock it somebody said immediately turn up because my hand is come but for that the top management has come to me because as for this management this uh, system management concern a visitor the responsibility to the visitor also to have to be taken with the top management so immediately they come very very sorry sir and we will that will sack that fellow driver immediately said sir not completely driver fault it's my fault is also there so don't do sir anyway in something is there of course they are given some medical aid etc etc okay sir that is what is this accident it is a very low accident it's not even medium, medium accident also. not medium accident. only suffering and uh, my all fingers are got stuck up. okay sir <clears throat> so that is how you have to replace the risk risk register register to maintain then outsourcing 1130 and 1130 outsourcing so most of the industries they are taking outsourcing most of the industry nowadays everybody is depending on the outsourcing people they because maybe the uh, i mean uh, economical constraints on the industries the standard requires an organization to ensure the outsourced process affecting the occupational health and safety management system are defined and controlled the what the standard says whatever the outsourced working works are given to some other people outsourcing was given to some other outsider it is the responsibility of the that contractor to see that 
safety is are correctly addressed during the workplaces for example an outsourced person he will send uh, some uh, workers into the organization this also happened normally the security people will, uh, everybody will see that whether this fellow is a drunken or not also they will pre generalizing and all these things security people will do it somehow one person has been missed so these workers entered in the fortunately unfortunately i was also uh, going on the safety audit i have same person uh, to his unfortunate and my unfortunate i called that he come here he said what is that you are working he said some work is there already in getting some smell because i don't uh, drink by immediately can <laughs> if i also drink the smell will uh, mingle because i don't smell i i got immediately the smell also i said did you drink no sir no sir no never sir i don't drink it immediately i never drink it because i'm getting spell i is that security fire you just uh, test it with it got some uh, some points are there a uh, breathing point they want to get some point to watch it then uh, immediately observation i retained at the top management the security fellow the contractor and these people are send it out why it is because if anything happens because of the drunken fellow not only himself the people surrounding him also may get injured so these are all the things why these accidents are being traced these are all the things very strictly you have to see that even a small mistake if a security person will do that's all it may happen probability will be more so outsourced personnel so any outsourced work, the contract agreement will be there the contract will be there but nobody bothers and the person who is i mean accept the contract but they never study the agreement also in one of the incidents in our own organization the outsourcing has been given to the substation maintenance i don't tell where it is when they given maintenance i asked the fellow he is having a mall uh, hawai chappals what is this i asked sir uh, i want to go and operate the dab switch air brake switch which is a live live switch which is uh, with these chappals sir save uh, with the safety issues are he uh, given sir it is there what is the use safety issues are given but he doesn't wear it and doesn't buy this fellow doesn't bother to ask him also if anything happens another thing i'll tell you he will put on the abc he will take his hand catch it put on the handle he will try to this is a cloth this is not a voltage resistant he should use any equipment or tools with his voltage resistant cloth is not a voltage resistant i can only clean up my clean up my face that's a nothing else you can do see these are all the things which lead to the this thing and i asked where is your contract agreement that fellow said no contract agreement is not given to me sir then i asked that the hr manager where is the contract agreement sir contract agreement is there in the file what is the use see you should see the contract agreement as per the contract agreement the supplier has to give all this thing to the people and you you are the person you should see that it's executed properly you are the person you have to execute it you don't execute you don't they see the contract if anything happens what is it nobody does. so this is the thing where outsourcing people are there especially you should see what is the agreement everything everything is given in the agreement only thing you have to follow this and when outsourced product or service supply to the under control what that is called a control what is the here is a control agreement is a controlled copy control the document because all the necessary terms and the conditions general terms everything it is given in the agreement the agreement is nothing but a document which can be implemented it should be implemented in toto everything is given is only zero type of agreement for the long years it is coming but the only thing the person who is the managing there he is to be able to see that the agreement and should be implemented and also product or service is supplied by the this also if any product is supplied by the also the people it should be a safety one now let us suppose you have electronic scooters there are so many scooters have gone burnt what is the reason 
They are surprised why these things are given. Somebody says the battery, somebody says wiring, somebody, somebody says something. So immediately about 1500 to 15 scooters have been taken back by the that all are pro producer. Why did not check up? See, till some people die, you will not bother. There so many people added to three or four Tamil Nadu, from Tamil Nadu, one person with his family, they, they got burnt because of the electric vehicle. So my suggestion, don't purchase any vehicle, electric vehicles un unless it is sustained. There is the infant stage only, you should see that. It's up to you, but only my, as an elderly man, I as, uh, suggest, unless it is completely secured, don't go for the electric vehicles now. There is no use of electric vehicles unless you get the... Pardon, sir? No, no. That's a, that is why I already is up to... Sir, my first present is up to you. I already used it. <laughs> I know that this question is come. It's up to you, but an elderly suggestion. I'm an elderly brother to you. Don't go for it. If you want, you go to it. It's up to you. But you see that all safety regulations are being followed. Even in the plug, they are, see, they are charging in the plug. They don't see the capacity of the plug. You see the capacity of your uh, uh, charging equipment. You see, then only, see, whenever you see three holes, you just put it in the plug. That is not correct. You see, see the wiring capacity there. You see the, the capacity of the switch. And uh, as per the CA regulations, 2010, there is a specific regulation, always put one in the fire extinguisher near the charging place also. Nobody bothers. More canal can be sent repeated by this question. It's over and Our capacity is over the capacity is going to do you understand now if you see the three holes now on that you put it in your plug there see it is clearly written in the five amperes it is only for the meant for your fans and lights not when they're charging up this thing but these people they do not know they do not understand they do not listen like this <laughs> sir please sir you it's up to you purchase it but before purchasing you please all the read all the safety regulations related to that because your safety is most important for your for yourself your family etc etc the capacity unless you have a 15 amps plug don't go for the charging of the uh, uh, electric vehicles 15 amps plug is required including 6 ampere 6 square mm uh, wire most important thing minimum 6 square mm a 6 square mm where matter the gain this coach 6 square mm wire what are with a 6 square mm with 15 amps plug otherwise don't use it your 5 amps plug is not adequate. You will get your maybe. For one or two days, nothing will happen after continuous use. Why it is a continuous use? It is because of the heat. It, it gets it heated in the wires. Because of the I square, if electrical people are there, they understand the I square losses. Because of the I square losses, the PVC sheet will get heated up, it gets melted up, it gets shot. That is the reason. Okay, sir. It's up to you. Don't, uh, don't. <laughs> okay, sir. Next. <clears throat> Next one. So, risk reduction. That is the risk. We will always see what is the risk involved in any work before you take up the maintenance work. Then how do you reduce this? You have to see that when you are completely, you cannot avoid the risk, better you reduce it. Reduce the risk. How to reduce the risk? Including long-term exposure to the hand heavy items. Now the <clears throat> radiation. Most of the radiation takes place. Normally, if you take an X-ray, no second person normally, normally, normally a second person should not enter into the X-ray room because of the radiation. Effect. That's the most important thing. Like this. <clears throat> Uh, sets, the sulfur dioxide, the carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide, you, you, this thing, that will come and affect you, this thing. You can see that that carbon dioxide may be evacuated in somehow. Most of the, the, the DJs, the dangers, even the homes also you are using without any proper evacuating the carbon dioxide. That's the most important. And the vibration. Most of the industries where the conveyor belts are there, when one conveyor to other conveyor, when they, so let us suppose coal, coal transfer, 
this conveyor is coming like this with the coal. This coal will fall down here. This again, one more belt is there. Because this, between these two things, there will be some 25 HP, 30 HP, or maybe 60 HP mortars will be there. Because of these mortars, there is a vibration in the total structure. So about five years, six years, there is no problem. After five years, six years, because of the, this thing, this may, this may fall down. So you should periodically, you should conduct your vibration test where these motors are involved. And another thing, prevent. Prevent the people not to enter in the hazardous location. Now let us suppose the accident place run or people are putting this some uh, this thing, uh, the, uh, what do you call uh, a separate end under the wood. They put some tape or something like that. Uh, some they put no. So those are nobody should come in. So even this thing, hazardous. So even if you go to airport in the bathroom, they say wet area, take play, take care. They put a board there. Wet area, don't you know, don't enter. You take some preventive measures. And organization work to reduce exposure to the hazard. Normally, you should see that the hazard is reduced. Use the appropriate protective equipment. Protective equipment like your helmets, shoes, etc., etc. When you have to use your protective equipment, we will discuss uh, next uh, another, uh, after break. And providing welfare facilities such as first aid, washing facilities, so on. First aid boxes, first aid equipment, a doctor. If I go to industries, most of the first aid boxes, they will contain some uh, cigarette packs or matches, except to medicines. That is called a first aid box. Recently, I have seen that. Sir, first aid box should contain a medicine, which is unexpired medicine, approved by the doctor. The list should be provided on the top of the first aid box. Those medicines should be available in that. And the people, at least one person should know how to use the medicines. This is, that is called first aid box. First aid box inputs, first aid box and outputs. Then the first aid box means you should have the list of the medicines approved by the doctor, not yourself, myself. I am an engineer and I am not authorized to approve any medicine. Approved by the doctor, the medicine should be unexpired medicines and somebody should immediately be able to I mean, access to the medicine, use it. That is called first aid box. Every 100 meters in the uh, this, uh, factory act also, every 100 meters, one first aid box should be. Okay, sir. With this, we'll just have a small break and come back. Thank you.
<clears throat> sir i don't mind if anybody wants to sleep you can just sleep if you are not interested to listen to this but i am not going to compel anybody but still i will not allow you to sleep because of my voice and other things normally nobody will sleep <clears throat> because this is also my experience <clears throat> So this is uh, elimination at the workplace, elimination of the risk at uh, some of the workplaces. It is just uh, only small information only. See, this girl is uh, going on a bad place, but she is in a, you see, this is a safe place. So this fellow is see, falling from down. He, he doesn't have any uh, prevention methods while hanging, whereas that fellow has got some of these. See, these are also some of things daily here also you are seeing. Especially the building workers, our building, local building workers, they are building their construction and other things. And a small bamboo, this, in Sarvud Rat under the Sarvud Rat, but they don't use any of the safety equipment. Even in the five-story building also, they are painting with this thing only. They are hanging on this, they are putting this very temporary, this thing. There is not, not only really yellow, but this is unorganized sector. Rudhir Mik Chappan, unorganized sector, and they have an association, they have a representation, they have a representation. A worker, a mace, a carpenter, they have worked there on own this thing. So that is called an unorganized sector. Sorry, sir, I am, uh, sometimes I have to speak Telugu because 80% uh, of the people they have requested me. Sometimes you speak in Telugu. Sometimes, not all time. <laughs> Sometimes only. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have much uh, knowledge in Hindi also. If you speak, and I, I can. If you speak. Sir, though I am seeing a daily one Hindi picture, but still I am not getting into my mind. <laughs> daily I am seeing a Hindi picture to see that Hindi will go to in my mind. But it still it is not going to because of my because of my age. The retention power is lost. So it will not retain. But still, if you speak in Hindi, I can understand, but I can't reply you. Thoda thoda aata hai, jyada jyada jata hai. That is the thing. So it's only for fun, sir. So these are all the some of the places in which you can uh, eliminate the risk. Ye vidanga mara eliminate chesko galo choose kani eliminate chesko nte risk will not be there. That's it. This is called elimination of the risk. So, <clears throat> benefits of the implementation of the safety management system. What are the benefits you are getting out of this? If you implement the safety management system, definitely you will attain some of the benefits in this. What are the benefits? Very first slide I already explained to you. It is a systematic. It is a systematic approach. Systematic approach is a disciplined way of an approaching of the safety and measures. Now, if you go to any industry, you can do it in any industry. Yes, sir, we are giving uh, protective equipment. What are the things you are doing? Yes, sir, we are giving, daily you are giving protective equipment. See, giving a protective equipment is not an ultimate measure of the safety. Okay, protective equipment is not the ultimate safety. Ultimate safety is not the ultimate safety. I shall explain you what exactly this is. So, this is what? So, the organized reputation safety work, <clears throat> so you have should the, the safety measures, wherever it is required, the safety measures are to be taken by all these things to eliminate or to reduce, first to reduce, then eliminate. Takin chandi purtika this chandi. You have to reduce it or completely eliminate this. And then improving the ability to respond to the regulatory compliance issues. When you follow the safety measures, you see, all regulatory compliances you should definitely you have to follow whatever the regulatory bodies let us suppose a pcb or electrical inspectorate people what are the observations they made in your industry you should have a compliance report on that and most of the industries i have seen they will not even bother to comply the observations made by the pcb or these people or fire uh, fire people they don't bother about it so this management system definitely, I'll ask you, if I come and uh, this thing, I'll ask you what are the compliance report, what are the legal complaints you have to follow. And then make NTPC on the power station, generating power station. They, they have to definitely follow the PCB rules. 
we they cannot do uh, i mean throw the dust or saw what you call this uh, ash dust throw on the this thing well they have to see that this is controlled a sadest a sadest and ash it should be controlled properly so there are two ill benefits because the ash one is if it leaches in the ground it is because of the mercury content in the ash it spoils the ground water and also breathing problem will get it there are two points that is why our government is also not much encouraging the installation of the thermal power stations but unfortunately or fortunately we are getting most of our energy about about 69% of the energy we are getting only from the thermal power stations only thermal means coal oil and gas out of 60% we are getting only from the coal coal based thermal power stations <coughs> nowadays uh, uh, because of the conference of parties you know the UN, UN, UNFCC united nations framework convention on the climatic changes uh, narendra modi has uh, gone to the cop meeting at uh, U, uh, glasgow uk and committed that we will reduce our carbon emissions by two th- 2030 to a tune of 50% and net zero emissions by 70 uh, by 2070 net zero uh, no carbon emissions from us how he will do it not narendra modi how on behalf of what we have to do we have to see that we have to see that we have to transfer our energy this thing from conventional energy to non conventional energy our conventional energy is coal gas and oil we have to go for the non conventional energy like solar wind uh, geothermal power station etc 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 why this is the reason we have to reach see that our carbon emissions are reduced because of the thermal power station we are get the ash content another thing is that our indian coal is very poor quality of coal with uh, 3000 kilo calories of one uh, kg of uh, coal if you want whereas it's a australian core or a south african it's get about 4500 kilo calories the efficiency of the coal is also is uh, drastically less in the indian coal which is giving more ash when more ash it is very difficult for the thermal power station to handle the ash one is the dust in the air second is the, the ash in the leaching into the ground so that is how you should see that risk risk assessment you have to do in this also and the regulatory when you when you go for the safety management system you can respond to the regulatory compliance issues so whenever this management system you have approved you have to see that regulatory compliance also you should address the observations are the this thing complied with the regulatory commission regulatory commissions are a observations aithe ichcharo prathi industry vallu ee regulatory commission ramke nunchi ochcharu annar aina ramke vallaku kuda there are several definitely pcb vallu ichchu untaru aa pcb regulations we have to follow pcb regulation otherwise you are likely to you have to close your industry recently what happened one of the uh, with uh, granite stone crusher granite stone crusher is there that fellow is polluting total the surrounding areas of villages in one of the place near about 100 kilometers from here so pollution control board have gone to those people for inspecting this thing they said within specified time within 3 months or so if you cannot reduce this uh, pollution because of your uh, stone dust you are likely you t- disconnect your supply we supply disconnect chesestam ani chepparu enduku vaadu pollution chestunnadu em pollution granite mana kankaralu untay kada dan nunchi vacha dust aa dust valu total villages anta kuda pollution vastadu so he did not uh, i mean uh, bother to listen to that pcb norms so he immediately referred to apscb or people and we our people have got disconnected the supply at that stage that fellow has come to me sir your people have disconnected supply then you you have it you have to see that compliance report you have to give regulatory compliance complaint you have to give it otherwise you, you have to face the trouble then what is that is that easy easy this will has got about 50 lakhs of a penalty has put it 50 lakhs then he of course he approached the court the court is said no no you go for third party inspection like a certified energy auditor or the chartered engineer then they approached me i have given a certificate by testing pro- practically testing he yeah, are insisting me to give a certificate at the house i said no nothing will so i have gone to the premises akra velli chusi measure chesi certificate is there 
that penalty was reduced about 25 lakhs or 30 lakhs. So that is how the system goes on. So you should see that regulatory compliance issues should be and the regulatory compliance. Electrical inspectorate people also are my industry skill. While Uchi they have some ethnic bow ledu and as a complaints are reported about ledu. Most of the industries. Me go and a Pelisan and Japan made a lot of complaints reported valley in jail and the complaints reported about ledu. That means you are not responding to the regulatory complaints. Otherwise, you have to face the trouble either from the department or from the safety issues. So, reducing overall cost, cost of the incidents, if you go for the implementation of this, definitely the cost of the, this thing is definitely reduced. Reduce the downtown, downtime, and the cost of the disruption. If you have power supply interruptions, you the cost of the production will be reduced. Whenever you face these interruptions, interruption the cost of the production will be increased. Whenever the cost of uh, interruptions are not there, the cost of the production is not there. And the other thing is that you have power thesis, you have production in the next day. Yes or no? So, power holiday should not be there. Power should be there, not, not power holiday. So, anyway, that is a government decision. They are doing something. So, that is one of the things. Reducing absenteeism employee turnover rates and then recognition of having achieved the international benchmark. International benchmark. Our cement industry, it is competing, competing with the world industry, cement industries because of the high reputation of the safety, energy and uh, this thing also. Three components of the cement industry is the world mottam the top of the because they are following all the norms, whether the safety or not, your energy or not. Energy and safety can either necessary cement industries are the best industries among the world. One cement industries are not. Okay, sir. Next one is you understood, sir. Cement industries are the best industries in the world. Uh, Indian cement industry because they follow all safety norms, all the energy related norms. Are the rules prescribed in the Bureau of Energy Efficiency? Bureau of Energy Efficiency, you know that under Minister of Power Government of India, the rules prescribed only Bureau of Energy also they follow, they strictly follow because they have to comply every month to the Bureau of Energy Efficiency among the National Safety Council of India, etc. etc. They have given a complete uh, report system every month. And the called Bajas. That is not Yes, yes, yes. That is why I said. That is a improvement. Technology improvement. That's you are right. That is why they are complaining. That is, but same thing. It is not by other industries. Yes, sir. Correct. <clears throat> Now, this OHS and the occupational health, occupational health. Sir, again I remain occupational health. That means your health is our health is spoiled at our home. The government, I mean, the management will not take your industrial management uh, will not take anything except to give some sick leave. Otherwise, if they have their, their occupational health industry, some uh, medicines they will give. But totally, uh, in uh, this thing, you have to take care of provide at your home. If uh, pandemic question then go the pandemic level, the government accepts injections while in the eight Mana mana bottle, mana bottle, sinde. And the private in the hospital, jana the ayi lachala, ayi lachala, this kind of thing. So it is our uh, this thing only. So this is called occupational health and safety. During your occupation, health and safety, and uh, establish safe control, operational controls. What are the operational controls? This operational controls means standard operating procedures in respect of the safety and health. 
ఏ వర్క్ చేసినా ఏం చేసినా సరే ద ఆర్గనైజేషన్ హ్యాస్ టు బిల్డ్ అప్ ది సేఫ్టీ ఆపరేటింగ్ ప్రొసీజర్స్ అప్పుడప్పుడు మన ప్రొసీ పేపర్లో కూడా చూస్తారు గవర్నమెంట్దే ఆపరేటింగ్ ప్రొసీజర్స్ లేవండి అంటారు వాట్ ఆర్ దట్ ఆపరేటింగ్ ప్రొసీజర్స్ అన్న మినిస్టర్కి ఏం తెలియదు అనుకోండి బట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు నో ఇట్ ఎనీ ఆపరేటింగ్ ప్రొసీజర్స్ ఫర్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఫర్ ఎనీ మెయింటెనెన్స్ వర్క్ ఎనీ కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ వర్క్ ఎనీథింగ్ యూ షుడ్ సీ దాట్ యువర్ సేఫ్టీ ఆపరేటింగ్ ప్రొసీజర్స్ టు బ్రిటన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ టు బి రిటర్న్ అండ్ ఇట్ షుడ్ సప్లై టు ద ఎవ్రీ పర్సన్ ఇన్ ద ఆర్గనైజేషన్ ఎవ్రీ పర్సన్ ఎవ్రీబడీ షుడ్ నో ఇట్ simply writing your safety operating procedure keep it in the document it's no use that should be given to the everybody and you should see that everybody knows about this by conducting training awareness program etc etc that is why if you go to some of the industries they say speed limit 16 km per hour or the speed limit 20 meters 20 km per hour then clearly write it some posters you should Uh, paste some of the posters to see that safety the regulations are being put so establish uh, operation controls control means is nothing but a document and control is nothing but a document it is to be prescribed by the organization it should be written by the organization the organization has to sign on that so that it will become a, a, a comprehensive document the document should be given to all the person i should be known by all the persons andarki teliyala adu a document rasi me file lo pettukunnar anukondi evariki telustundi ipudu government edo just jeevol anni tesi daachestunnaru kada jeevol anni tesi daachukondi jeevol endu ivadam entadi document prepare chesi andarki ivvali istanga anni velu telustundi ala kaakunda mana jeevol tayar chesi unnayandi anni confidential ani cheppi local daachukondi what is the use of your jeevol so that is what is going on here so i am not criticizing anybody that is thing is going on in the governments because they don't want you to know about it they don't want the public to know about it so they keep it everything is confidential so under the confidential they are doing some okay that's it increasing awareness of its own risk awareness what is awareness you have to create create an awareness awareness through teaching programs learning programs this is also so another uh, awareness program only till one hour back i don't know who are you you, you also told me who, who am i this awareness program has cre- uh, created a relationship between you and me to create some awareness about it, it does not mean it is one hour one and a half hour you learn everything at least you know something about the system management system is there that every industry has to follow everything is to be done and then increasing awareness awareness may be through training or through with something etc etc evaluating the performance evaluation is the most important evaluation ante oh examination conduct chestaru evaluation ki oh kurradu parichara asade anukondi evaluation how you do evaluation for a student you conduct an examination that is called evaluation of the performance alage meer safety performance chestunnaru gvmc safety me chustunna vandante how do you know it what is the evaluation performance by the done by the gvmc what type of evaluation are carried out so nan these kind le chupiste cheptanu what type of evaluation you are doing or some feedback from feedback from the citizens that is your evaluation ante kada andi meer ela pan chestanu nan adithe cheptanu nayi ela pan chestanu meer adithe cheptanu nayi ipudu sa anta baaga cheppena leda ane nee chepte baaga cheppenandi antanu meer ana cheppena leda ane ఎప్పుడు చెప్పారు ఎంత ఎంత ఆఫ్ ది ప్రోగ్రామ్ యూ టు గివ్ ఏ ఫీడ్బ్యాక్ అప్పుడే కదా మీకు అర్థం అవుతుంది నేను చెప్పిందా లేదా చెప్పానా లేదా చెప్పింది అర్థమైందా లేదా వెదర్ యూ అండర్స్టూడ్ ఆర్ నాట్ యూ డో నాట్ అండర్స్టూడ్ అన్లెస్ యూ గివ్ ఏ ఫీడ్బ్యాక్ దట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ ఇవాల్యుయేషన్ ఐ ఇవాల్యుయేట్ మై సెల్ఫ్ బేసింగ్ ఆన్ యువర్ ఫీడ్బ్యాక్ లేదండి ఆ సార్ వచ్చాడు ఏదో డెబ్బై మూడు ఏజ్ వచ్చి ఏదో కష్టపడ్డా రెండు గంటలకి చెప్పాడు ఏం చెప్పాడు ఇద్దరు హే బోరింగ్ అంతని వాడి దట్ వాట్ నాన్ సెన్స్ ఈ స్పీక్స్ దట్ మే బి ఆల్సో దే that is also a feedback in such types your feedback is necessary for me to improve myself that is your performance evaluation at the performance even improvement alage safety measures lo the safety measures also you have to see the you have to improve your performance in the safety and the health of your people ela chestaru the organization has to decide how to do this kaisa kaisa what is that sorry <laughs> sorry i started 
how you will do it yeah how you will do it it's up to the organization it depends upon your product your deliver depend upon your this thing okay sir that is your performance evaluation and ensure workers take an active role in the occupancy workers participation in every every point this safety management system increase i mean emphasis the workers participation in so many industries i have seen they do not bother about the workers participation are me mallo sir pilavandi pilcha adagandi me abhiprayam enta adagandi tappe undu andalo what is wrong in this you just ask your opinion see every mind has got its own strength you may give a very good uh, opinion it does not mean every opinion should be taken into consideration no you don't do, don't take it because man management has got some uh, uh, restraints on that so you workers participation the most important thing sir 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 is we think is that they have to perform their work <laughs> nodal agencies they have to perform their work no, which is agency pardon which is the nodal agency to monitor all the sites no in no sir in the in the state government no 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 I, sir I, i i can i can explain sir. in industries inspector of factories is there in industries these are on occupation safety and health they will enforce as per factory act 1948 accordingly factory rules for every state every state having their factory rules nine ap factory rules 1950 tamil nadu factory rules 1950 like that the central government give, give one model rule the basic and model rule every state government will frame their own rules this factory act 1948 for entire country the rules are framed according to their situations they will frame again okay. through assembly that is a bit that is inside the industry these are all enforced inside the industry outside industry so if so sir told suppose another establishments there is another suppose building and other constructions uh, during construction of buildings now in in andhra pradesh uh, labor department is looking after the safety Lela, and there are the authorities in suppose maharashtra factories department i think right maharashtra tamil nadu also factories department in construction also in andhra pradesh is no such mechanism yes, so apart from that every organization they should have safety committees i shall come in the next few slides it will come the factory act is there even in the ca regulations also that yes. electrical safety officer exclusively for electrical side yes there is one electrical inspector inspector ah. there are legal authorities apart from that apart from the legal authorities every industry as he said every industry they should have your uh, safety committees safety officer and these safety issues should be discussed every 6 months yeah every 6 months we have to discuss the safety uh, uh, this thing for the improvement or bet, better performance so it some as is said now government side there are some uh, departments are there uh, okay sir that's all i am no sir i will come i will come to the sir uh, you just uh, please uh, put some light on this sports sir a few uh, all new quarters liver quarters sir i just put some light on that uh, not actually prepared <laughs> anyway we will see oh, okay. i was just looking into that i am not to say suddenly i can't tell you unless i prepared myself i see i cannot speak some nonsense on that you will drive me away from this place you bloody feel you don't go outside arbitration is something is that why i am not much competent to speak about this because i am not prepared for that anyway sir see a few slides before i said it's a continual improvement it is a continuous improvement and there is a, a continual improvement 
So there are some words in the safety management system also. Some difference will be there. Consider means think about it. Where taken into account means it is necessary to think about it and cannot be excluded. These are all the some of the words they are included in the management systems. Like this, a continual improvement. There is a continuous improvement. I will, uh, next slide I will explain you what is a continuous improvement and a continual improvement. And then there are <coughs> the words appropriate and applicable. They are not interview. Appropriate means a suitable. And applicable is means relevant or possible to apply. This is all the some of the words they are given in the safety management system. Like some difference will be there in the English, whether in Indian English or the international English or something. These are the words given specifically in the safety management system. So when you go for this, you will understand all these things. Otherwise, just for the for the present, if you just know about this, it is sufficient. Next, sir. So I shall tell you what is the continual improvement and continuous improvement. There is a small difference. Improvement in the performance of the safety and health of the people. So now here we say improvement in respect of safety and health of the this improvement. What type of improvement you want to do? It is a continuous improvement or a continual improvement? If it is a continuous improvement, <coughs> Just like your uh, PDCA cycle, perform, do, check and act. Otherwise, it's a continual improvement. Continual improvements, you take a leap on that. Now, if you take a continuous improvement, this is the thing. It is a continuous improvement. An improvement by adding increments one, one to the other. One to the other, if it is a continuous. Then, let us suppose this is a continual improvement. You take an improvement, let it sustain for some time, then you take another improvement. But in a continuous improvement, it is an incremental increment. Improvement. If it is a continual improvement, you improvement, let the improvement sustain for some time, then you take another thing. And again, it let it sustain like this. That is what exactly it is given. The innovative leap, improve. Standardize, improve, standardize. Why this is given? Continual improvement is better than the continuous improvement because any improvement, it should be sustained for some time. That is why if you say, if you start a new transformer, again I will come back to my transformer. If you want to start a new transformer, if you charge the transformer, you cannot put load on the transformer immediately. First, you have to charge the transformer, keep it for some time. Don't put on the load on that. Keep it for some time. Let it sustain. Then, small load, maybe one tenth load, put it on that. Sustain. Another small load, sustain. Another small load. Then finally. So normally, if you want to start a transformer or anything, you have to wait for some time till it attain it ultimate efficiency. That is what exactly called. This is a small difference between a continuous improvement and a continual improvement. So this interested parties, the document uses the term interested parties. The stakeholder is a synonymous as it represents the same. Ensure, ensure means <clears throat> what? What ensure? What do you mean by ensure? Ensure means take responsibility and also and accountability. Whereas your responsibility can be delegated, but not accountability. First slide I told you. A management then see that responsibility given to somebody else. For everything GVC, GVMC commissioner will not come. On his behalf, some of his uh, uh, lower cadre people will come do it. But ultimate responsibility, commissioner only. That's what exactly this means. And then Ensure documented information is the most important thing. This is called a safety manual. Nowadays, all industries they have, they have to do with the safety manuals. They have to become. They have to see that the safety manual is done. Next, hey, sir, sir, just one thing. please, please. The safety manual is the manual which speaks about the organization structure. What exactly it contains? A safety manual. Manual. 
the total manual is a degree like a degree for any industry the safety manual it should contain <coughs> manual speaks about the organizational structure organizational structure and then policies objectives roles and responsibilities operating instructions hierarchical authorities and test records etc etc et if you put together all these things it will become a safety manual and the safety manual it should be made available for all the people because everybody should understand what exactly the safety manual is next in the safety manual first is the safety policy what safety policy safety policy is nothing but a commitment from the top management sir it should be clearly mentioned any organization they should have a policy whether it's a quality policy environment policy or a safety policy they should have a policy policy is nothing but my own statement i got i am i got my own policy you got your own policy some uh, see your uh, political parties they got same their own policies whether it is accepted by or it by or not it's a different matter so i have a got a policy of taking loan and not giving back to the loan back to the this thing i want to get away from the country that is my policy if you are, if you can catch me you can catch me otherwise nero mode is already gone so that is my his policy he has gone with uh, some crores of rupees so this only small example no this a pattern thing so policy in the industry also they should have a policy if the safety policy is nothing but a statement of commitment a statement of commitment to say that we will see the the safety and the health of our workers or employees right from the top that is the safety committee the top management commitment is the safety policy the safety policy should be written and it be uh, i mean it should be known to the all the people and the people who are working in this this thing they should work towards reach the safety policies so once uh, when i have gone one of the industry that industry people what they have done the safety policy they have written they printed in a small card they have given for each and everybody everybody is getting the safety policy that is good procedure they are written in the local language and english as a both in the safety so when i gone for an audit i asked some fellow to come here he said do you know what is safety policy your safety policy i know sir how you know it he given he taken said this is the card they have given i asked him whether you read it every day any day there are about 5 to 10 points are there in the safety policy that is the commitment from the top management i asked whether did you read this commitment he said uh, no sir i have not read it every since how many days it is there with you so 3 months i have already given sir for the 3 months 3 months into 8 hours in a day into 60 minutes into 60 seconds how many seconds it say how many you say can you not spare 3 seconds or 4 seconds to read this safety policy then i said no now you read it i'll take my watch now you read your safety policy you have read it So how many time, how many seconds it takes so it is your attitude it is your commitment to see that you should know about the safety policy the workers attitude as attitude kadandi nu sadavali an ankovali ante kada sadavakunda devulu pettukunte what is the use of safety policy that is safety policy and roles and responsibilities the top management commitment they should give the roles and responsibilities for all the, at all levels right from the top to the bottom unless the people will try to say they blame on the next authority it's not my duty is his duty so the duties and responsibilities accountability should be clearly written in the document and the procedure all the procedures including legal requirement what is the procedure you have to follow in respect to the safety and health a procedure and a set should be written and they put it in the document these procedures should be known to all the people if they do not know you have to conduct awareness program or training program each and every day as per the training calendar in the industry training calendar they have to prepare every industry they have to prepare according to the training calendar they have to prepare give the training you have to feed, take the feedback and to see that effectiveness of the training also to be considered by the top management hr manager jese dade training conduct cheyal vallu and then <clears throat> work instruction not only procedure 
everybody should know how to do the work according to the procedure clear work instruction you do this you do this you do this every every point they have to give work instruction and then records and forms of course one of the form is a work permit system is one of the form like this there are so many forms are there sir next one so who are the interested parties organizing uh, next one so understanding the needs and expectations of the workers and then scope of the organization what is the scope the scope of the organization for implementation of the safety and that means you have to what is your scope of the organization with respect to the safety and other thing you have to clearly mention in the documentation the scope is for effectiveness of the safety we are see we have to see the effectiveness of the safety that is the scope of the this thing next one sir and then leadership and workers participation i told you worker participation is impa interesting leadership and commitment towards the safety of the health safety and health policies organization roles and responsibility authorities they should be given and consultation participation workers and planning to see objectives then top management has to give some objectives these are all the objectives every worker to you have to work towards the, i mean reaching the objectives objective ante ante this this year this year me abba emo 50000 rank ochind anka nemset lo his objective is to reduce the rank kada so objective you have to create an objective to to, to reach the goal that is called a vision and mission in that japan way strategic decisions your vision and mission through objectives objectives can be altered by improving the performance of the safety safety performance improve chesukuntu me objectives maarchukuntu vellali one one or two industry every time will say the same objectives that what is the use of the objective objective should be increased this time uh, this year you will earn 10000 rupees per month next year you have to increase the salary should be increased our next year is still to increase that should be the objective like this small example and then planning to other objective action to address the risk and opportunities within the safety articles the job safety analysis etc etc next one and then necessary support is to be given by the top management not only asking the people but the top management is to give some support to you the support means is the financial support meek double isthe kada pan chestaru meek necessary equipment isthe kada pan chestaru so their infrastructure is to be created by the top management necessary financial support is to be given by the finance uh, top management and ilaga ani then competency competency means the competent of the worker or competent of an employee it should be clearly defined and taken into job competency depending upon the your education skill and experience these are three components are required for the competency hey, merely if you have a degree you are not competent merely you have a skill you are not competent merely you have them some experience you are not competent the three components skill education and experience these three things are to be uh, uh, they will to be there when a selection is made if it is not there you have to give an employee sufficient adequate training before you give some responsible job to them the competence is the most important thing unless a worker is a, is not have a competence you cannot ask him to do a job with his in the which is hazardous okay so that's important and awareness must be created and enhanced for the people of safety issues training a posters etc etc in for these all this information must be documented for the future guidance why this document is required now let us suppose this gentleman is there in the position now today tomorrow he will be elevated to some other position or day after tomorrow again he will be elevated so what is the guidance for the lowest people manual is the guidance for the people everybody should know it next one sir so planning operation emergency preparedness and response for any hazard location you should have an emergency preparedness 
in case in case anything happens so let us suppose a fire accident takes place what is your emergency preparedness ok fire accident ayindandi em chestaru immediately what is your preparedness what is your industry will do that you should write in their standard operating procedures what exactly you are supposed to do in case of any emergency emergency may be fire accident so i will tell you one of the example sir uh, still half an hour is there for me one of the one of the example i'll tell you recently we have gone one of the uh, organization we have conducted uh, some mock drill we want to see their emergency preparedness industry preparedness is about uh, night at 10 o'clock myself and my colleague both of us have gone it is a strict confidential we never told anybody so we have gone to a corner place and one worker is going this way i told that worker to come and fall on the ground just fall on the ground we want to see the people uh, how they prepared this so uh, that fellow is uh, fallen on the ground we were watching just behind so, uh, secretly see for our surprise nobody has come and to his rescue nobody people are coming yes see boy see boy what is this everybody is seeing this fellow but nobody help him we are just seeing just fell we have taken 10 minutes time immediately i rang up to the security person without giving our uh, this thing identity somebody has fallen here everybody is seeing nobody is helping him that fellow we don't know whether he's got a heart attack or some other injury or something like that so immediately the security person has come security person is sufficient along with first aid people have to come that occupant center has to come and the security person is come has come and he rang up to his father so your son has fallen your father has fallen down you come and help him why if the son is not there he will not take any action the son is the responsible person there we have noted everything He immediately security person is a responsible person he is immediately rang up to his son son your father has fallen down you take uh, who has son has to take the responsibility there the management has to take the responsibility not the son son is the only secondary after the nobody has come after 10 minutes or 15 minutes the ambulance come you see the fun here the ambulance have come they took this fellow they are taken to that uh, occupational health center they are doing an immediate we also gone with we have got our own vehicle we also gone see five, to our surprise that ambulance they do not have oxygen cylinder they do not have any first aid uh, this thing ambulance is nothing not, except that name nothing is there in the ambulance <laughs> uh, only the name is there ambulance i don't know we have taken all the photographs we had then the discussion with the top management this is how your emergency preparedness and this is the response from your own colleagues if it is even if it is really happen also what will happen chusar kadandi ilaga untunda mi industries lo ilaga unchutara mi friend padipothe alage chestara meeru so that is exactly emergency preparedness response you have to conduct frequently this mock drill and you have to see the emergency preparedness of the industries to follow this this is one of the main this thing as far as this the management system is concerned this management system is very beautifully written document it should be followed by every industry and then sop is periodic evaluation of the safety performance how do you do it how do you evaluate your own effectiveness it should be conducted your safety committee meeting in the safety committee safety officers will be there you should discuss what are the drawbacks in your own uh, industry you have to write down all these things you should see improve your performance with respect to the safety <clears throat> so so sir i'll tell you you have to conduct internal audit safety audit among your own industry even as for the ce regulations also you have to conduct inspection in the industries every year minimum every year every 12 months by a third party audit every 3 years 
This is CA regulations also clearly given. Central Electricity Authority regulations. Every year internally, every three years by external person. It's a mandatory. It's a legal requirement. So that is why another thing is that any industry which is not in the operation for the last six months, unless a pre-inspection is conducted, don't we should not allow any industry to start it. Pre-inspection is most important thing. If any industry is not working for the last six months, because LG polymers are there in the day, Managurlo. The same LG polymers. After the pandemic, pandemic has started in the month of March 2019, if I believe, if I remember. In the month of June, the government has relaxed some of the rules. LG polymers in Visor, they have started immediately without inspecting the safety function of their equipment. They started immediately. Total entire surrounding villages, 40 to 50 villages, the people have to evacuate the total villages because of the smell. And about 12 to 13 people have died immediately. So, sir, even in the CE regulations also fairly given, any CE regulations, any industry which is not working for the last six months, it should be pre-commissioning test. It is called a pre-commissioning test is to be conducted before you go for the production. Don't hesitate to go for the production immediately if it is not. This is the most important thing as for the internal safety audit also done. You have to conduct internal safety audit every year. And as per the IS specification 14489, that's the most important thing. The clearly guidelines are given under IS 14489. Any industry you have to conduct as per IS 14489, the checklist is given at the end of this standard also. So you have to follow the guidelines, you have to see your safety audits consult. Consulted process while observation or observations, you have consulted what are your observations or your minus points. Observation is nothing minus points. We don't want good, good, uh, good points. Good points is okay. But all minus points, wherever the minus points are there, wherever the lacuna is there, you should maintain a list of the observation and to see it's, uh, to the top management for further action by the top management. What action is to be taken and what by what time it is to be taken, the top management to take the responsibility is this thing. And the action plan is to be prepared to address all the observations. <coughs> okay, sir, nice to meet you. So improvement of the safety and health system, the management uh, management has to review periodically what are the observations given in the safety audits. The list of observations will be there in the safety audit. These observations, whether you have completed the observation, you have attended to the observation, until let us suppose the earthing is not there under and code. Let, the, let us suppose the uh, storage, chemical storage. Chemical, chemical storage. Chemical storage is a hazardous storage area. So in that chemical storage area, there should not be any uh, ordinary light should be there. It should be flame proofing. It should be there. Fire retardant cables should be there. Hey, everything should be there. Let us suppose you find some of the observations. I find one of the chemical industry, one of the observations. They put normal uh, these switches, ordinary switches. It's not a flame proof. I told them they remove this one. Immediately you remove this. You go for the flame proof switches. And these cables, unless you show me that that asset to the cables, whether they are fire retardant cables. Otherwise, your chemical industry, they cannot run this. They cannot run this. See, see, how many accidents are taking place only in the chemical industries only. Tomorrow, we will discuss some of the industry accidents are taken in the chemical industries. Most dangerous. Like this, finance, procurement, advantage. What are the advanced technologies? In that, we Any advanced technologies are there. You have to procure the advanced technologies, see that to reach your performance in the safety and regulation. And recruit skilled and competent personnel is the management of this thing. Improvement of safety methods in the processes. Requirement of further training of the personnel. If the personnel is not competent enough to handle this thing, you have to give improvement in the training also. In the frequent training, it will be low cadre, medium management, or top management. Everybody should get the management training. It's the middle management, lower management, top management, even in the workers also. 
పీరియాడికల్ ట్రైనింగ్ ప్రతి వాళ్ళకి ఇవ్వాలి ఆ ట్రైనింగ్ లో యూ హ్యావ్ టు డిస్కస్ యువర్ సేఫ్టీ ఇష్యూస్ సేఫ్టీ చేయండి బాబు మీరు షూస్ వేసుకోండి హెల్మెట్ పెట్టుకోండి ఇది చేయండి ఇది చేయండి ఓకే సార్ దెన్ యువర్ స్టడీ కంటిన్యూ సేఫ్టీ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ సార్ సో మెయిన్ సెక్షన్ ఇన్ ద మేనేజ్ సిస్టమ్ ఈస్ హౌ అండ్ వాట్ ఇంట్రెస్టెడ్ పార్టీస్ లుకింగ్ ఇన్ టు యువర్ టు టూ వర్స్ యువర్ హెల్త్ అండ్ సేఫ్టీ ఒక ఇంట్రెస్టెడ్ పార్టీ మీ అసోసియేట్ ఇండస్ట్రీకి ఏంటి వాట్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ దే వాంట్ టు సి జీవీఎంసీ వాళ్ళు బాగా పనిచేస్తున్నారు అని మనం అనుకునేది జీవీఎంసీ పనిచేయాలి మనం అనుకోవడం కాదు ఒక సిటిజన్ గా ఐఎమ్ ఎ సిటిజన్ ఆఫ్ వైజాగ్ బికాస్ ఐఎమ్ ది ఇంట్రెస్టెడ్ పార్టీ ఇన్ ద జీవీఎంసీ జీవీఎంసీ బాగా పనిచేస్తుందా లేదా అని వాళ్ళు ప్రూవ్ చేయాలి నేను సర్టిఫై చేయాలి వాళ్ళు ప్రూవ్ చేయాలంటే దే హ్యావ్ టు టేక్ సమ్ మెషర్ సేఫ్టీ మెషర్స్ అంటే ఓన్లీ జస్ట్ ఊరికే ఎగ్జాంపుల్ చెప్తున్నాను మీకు ఓన్లీ స్మాల్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ జీవీఎంసీ ఎనీ ఇండస్ట్రీ హూ ఆర్ కనెక్టెడ్ విత్ ద కన్సూమర్ ఆర్ హూ మే బి కనెక్టెడ్ విత్ ది ఇంట్రెస్టెడ్ పార్టీ ఎనీ ఇండస్ట్రీ పార్టీ సో దీస్ దీస్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ షుడ్ వర్క్ టు సీ దట్ ది పెర్ఫార్మెన్స్ ఇవాల్యుయేషన్ ఇస్ ఇంక్రీజ్డ్ బేసింగ్ ఆన్ ద ఫీడ్బ్యాక్ ఫ్రమ్ ద సిటిజన్స్ ఆర్ ఫీడ్బ్యాక్ ఫ్రమ్ ద ఇంట్రెస్టెడ్ పార్టీస్ అందుకే ఈవెన్ ద ఇంట్రెస్టెడ్ పార్టీస్ ఆల్సో దే గివ్స్ ఫీడ్బ్యాక్ టు ది ఆర్గనైజేషన్ whether the organization is perfectly working or not the top management commitment is to provide all round support for the implementation of safety and this thing uh, they are taking workers views in direction planning these are all the uh, this thing first is the interested parties there is a top management commitment and the planning preparation of the policy safety objective action plan to achieve the action plan to achieve the objectives objectives are prepared you have to action plan is to be defined to uh, i mean uh, achieve the objectives it's most important hazard identification and risk assessment every top management has to find out the hazard akkada pramadam undi annadu meer identify cheskovali mundu akkada pramadam undi annadu identify cheyali akkada hazard undi you know, identify hazard ante konni chodu chodu oil spill avutundi it's a hazard hazard as location immediately what is that you have to do you have to identify hazard and then you have to see that that hazard should be stopped action plan to see that hazard is to be eliminated prevented or eliminated it should be either prevented or eliminated hazard identification risk assessment oka vela akada potential hazard aithe what is the risk what is the amount of risk whether it is a risk in that type of low high medium low medium high what type of risk it is involved in the hazard location that you should done next one sir so safety management is at a glance almost i am completing support the necessary support is to be given by the top management in case of finance economic etc etc communication training etc operation create necessary operation controls and the procedures process ivali safety policy tayar cheyali objectives tayar cheyali manual tayar cheyali safety committee meetings tayar cheyali we have to identify safety officer safety officer sir i shall repeat you safety officer normally you have to uh, appoint a safety officer under uh, factory act 1948 apart from the safety officer as per the clause number 5 of the ca regulation you have to appoint a safety officer of in the, for electrical installations ఎందుకు చెప్తారంటే నార్మల్ ఇఫ్ ఐ గోట్ ఇండస్ట్రీ దేసే ఓన్లీ వన్ సేఫ్టీ ఆఫీసర్ దే షో ఇట్ నార్మల్ ఈ సేఫ్టీ ఆఫీసర్ అంటే ఫైర్ అండ్ సేఫ్టీ ఆఫీసర్ బట్ హీఈస్ నాట్ గివెన్ టోటల్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ ఆర్ దిస్ థింగ్ విత్ రిగార్డ్స్ టు ది ఎలక్ట్రికల్ సైడ్ సో యాజ్ వెల్ సియో రెగ్యులేషన్స్ క్లాస్ నెంబర్ ఫైవ్ ఎలక్ట్రికల్ సేఫ్టీ ఆఫీసర్ ఆల్సో షుడ్ బి అపాయింటెడ్ ఆర్ రికగ్నైజ్డ్ ఆర్ సమ్ గివెన్ ఎ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ సో సేఫ్టీ ఆఫీసర్ మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ టు క్రియేట్ నెసరీ కంట్రోల్ carry out evaluation of safety performance safety performance evaluation periodically whether you are going in a right direction by implementing all safety procedures or not you have to verify yourself periodically the periodically you may decide whether three months or six months one year you have to implement all the safety with this thing then only you have to and systems con- then you have the systems continual improvement next one sir so these guidelines have to be carried out sir under pda cycle pda cycle is nothing but a plan do check and act you have to plan for the objectives you have to do whether you are going in a right direction 
you have to check whether you are doing a not action if any wrong doing this sir you have to take an action plan you have to create it. that is a, called a pda cycle plan do check plan do check and act this is the most important thing in your in even in your life also p d c a plan do check and act in the life me life lo kuda meek disciplinary life kavalante you have to plan everything me avadi cinema ki teeskelalante pruthun nunchi plan cheskoni ellali మీరు సాయంత్రం ఐదున్నరకు వచ్చి నువ్వు తయారవ్వండి దుబ్బి మండలు ఏ నథింగ్ దుబ్బి మండలు అలాగే కూడదు మీరు సండే సండే మార్నింగ్ అంటే ప్రొద్దున నేను తయారైతే ప్లాన్ ఉంటే ఆ ప్లానింగ్ ఉండదు ప్లానింగ్ ఉంటే సరిపోతుందా యూ హూ పర్చేస్ ద టికెట్స్ సినిమా టికెట్స్ యూ హూ పర్చేస్ వెదర్ యు ఆర్ గోయింగ్ ఇన్ యూ అండర్స్టాండ్ నో ప్లాన్ టు చెక్ మీ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు టేక్ యువర్ నాట్ యువర్ టైమ్ మెయిన్ Now, if you want to take your wife to the cinema, you have to plan right in the morning and the Sunday. Not only plan, you have got a plan to take her to a picture. It is, it is not sufficient. Not only planning, you have to purchase a ticket. That purchase ticket, it should, be, it should be accepted by her. That is another thing. If you say that, uh, who is that uh, Amir Khan? No, I don't want to see that Amir Khan. I want to go to Samir Khan. Some other. So, your, your plan is... fail so you should be check you should check with her whether you are, you are accepted by this cinema otherwise your pda cycle has gone but now if it is already purchased ticket you return or just temper it and throw it in the trash again go for the other thing if you want to have a good and comfortable life in the next few days so don't quarrel with your wife go according to your decision so you are a youngster you will understand only after the under 30 years okay sir thank you very much any uh, questions చెక్లిస్ట్ but all 237 questions are not applicable to all industries this uh, uh, comprehensive checklist is for all the industries you have to pick up your own industry uh, your own uh, checklist related to your industry then you have to comprehend this is wonderful for it is the most important thing yeah back from the question you have it with respect to sir In apart from sir, anything else uh, sir apart from usage of underrated capacity cables pardon sir yeah, apart from usage of yeah, apart from un- usage of underrated capacity cables what are the most possible causes for short circuits in addition to that అండర్లేటెడ్ కెపాసిటీ కేబుల్స్ కాకుండా షార్ట్ సర్క్యూట్ కి మోస్ట్ ప్రాబబుల్ రీజన్స్ ఏంటి ఉంటాయి సార్ ఎడిషన్ గా నాకు అర్థం అవ్వలేదు ఆ దట్ ఇస్ నాట్ ది రీజన్ సార్ వై షార్ట్ సర్క్యూట్ ఇస్ టేకింగ్ ప్లేస్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ అండర్లేటెడ్ అన్బ్రాండెడ్ కేబుల్స్ సి వై ద డిఫరెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ देयर బ్రాండెడ్ అండ్ అన్బ్రాండెడ్ కేబుల్స్ ఆర్ देयर స్ట్రిక్ట్ క్వాలిటీ పెర్ఫార్మెన్స్ విల్ బి డన్ బై ద బ్రాండెడ్ కేబుల్స్ 
Now let us suppose they were all ordinary PVC cables are there used in this. There will be some, I, of course I am not a dealer, you can purchase whatever you like, but the thing is Havels, Anchor, these are all the cables, they will have perfect quality checkup will be there. There some other cables are also available. So these, the insulation over the cables are very poor, poor insulation. What will happen, and uh, that is one thing. Another thing, is, one is the poor insulation. Second thing, improper use by the consumer. Now, because, uh, as I told you, whenever you see a fire and flag, you will put so many flags. Tomorrow I will like explain all these things. So many things you will put it on there, the capacity of the wiring is not adequate. So, so finally, immediately it will not burn. After some time, because the PV insulation on the wire will be melted slowly, 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 because the two wires melted slowly, and they will come in contact with it. Then short circuit will happen. Even the cables also. Cables normally it will happen, but the only the PV wiring. Improper design of the cables. Improper design of the cables. Normally the people who are residing in the apartments. So let us suppose you are residing in a two, uh, two bedroom apartments. Normally a builder will give you only AC provision for only one uh, 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 bedroom only. Only one bedroom he will give you. But normally since you have got your bonus or you may get some other money, you will purchase another AC and put it on another bedroom. What will happen? Uh, your, yourself one uh, AC, your children one AC, what will happen? Totally. So the cable current carrying capacity, the cables will not sufficient to carry both the currents taken with load current taken by the AC. Finally, it works. Normally, ACs, these are all the problems. Recently, one of my friends have got so same problem. I told who asked you to put this. Sir, we got yesterday bonus. See, you put it to one AC there. You put one AC. And the same time, this AC, this AC gazer and your uh, uh, what load, all load current in one this thing. What will happen? The current carrying capacity, you have to see this. That is the most important. Sir, it should have ISI markings, right? All these cables. Uh, and uh, it should have. Uh, even this uh, government supply companies, uh, they don't use ISI certified cables. Our Bangalore may be undergone UGD. And it is, uh, and you never find the name of the company also, sir. Recent, I have seen one of the companies. Ah. No, normally for every meter they put a number signal. Number, number is there. Every meter has got a code. Sir. Number and number ah, that I have seen sir. That's only in a good quality this one you will get. Oh, no, no, no. Any questions? No, no questions sir. Sir, tomorrow morning again I will come and explain you what uh, the incidents are taking place in the chem uh, chemical industries. Now if you want to give any feedback, is it okay or not okay? Hey, hey, no, sir. Okay. Is Would it understood? Sir, Thank you very much, sir, for your excellent and extraordinary marathon uh, presentation. We are uh, enlightened with your presentation. And tomorrow also we have a first session with uh, Ramarao, sir. Please be here by 10 o'clock so that uh, if you are available by 9.45, we will start the session by 10 o'clock itself. Tomorrow his session is also very interesting. And now we will halt for a lunch break and we will gather here by 1.45 short. Again, 2 o'clock, we have one more uh, excellent session, Industrial Disaster, Onset and Offset Disasters by Mr. Ranganai Gulgaru. So please make your lunch as fast as possible and gather it by quarter to two. Thank you.